Yeah, good day. Just recording this session. Um, I've been asked this question about the apprenticeship, apprenticeship um, payments, uh, COVID payments um, from the government um, several times now, so I thought I'd record it and um, show people what to do with it. Um, if we just look at um, the MSDs or Working Incomes website, um, I'll put some links and stuff like that in the um, details below this recording so you can see these websites um, so this is just about the subsidy here um, it's talking about um, you know how you get go about it and stuff like that and actually if, if you do want help um, in getting this set up drop me a line we can have a look at it with you um, but basically you can get this um, thousand bucks a month uh, for first year apprentices and 500 for second year um, the important thing here is um, if you're registered for GST, then um, they add GST on top of it. Um, so essentially this is a um, this is taxable income and subject to GST if you are registered for GST. So if you are, you'll get paid 1150 a month. <coughs> okay, um, so you just need to work out how to record that in Xero. Um, so I've done this one here um, in our demo company in Xero. Um, when you receive the money, it'll look something like this, which is actually remarkably similar to the um, COVID um, wage subsidy payments um, that we got sort of uh, over, well, from sort of April onwards, once COVID hit. Um, yeah, so this is this is what you do with it. Um, so in here, we're just going to click in... Um, Say MSD something like that, and you might want to spell it right. Um, a lot of you'll have uh, a COVID account in here is a revenue account but I think this one needs to be separate because the taxable status of it, of it and GST status is different um, so if you scroll right down the bottom which is where all the revenue ones are um, and just have a look there so we want to pick an account um, I'd be uh, suggesting we use 209 um, this is sort of slightly different for this um, and we want to set up a new account um, there's a few ways to do it but probably the easiest way to do it is on the fly as you're in the reconciliation here. Um, if you click on add details, okay, um, brings up more information that you're putting in about this particular transaction. Um, the account here, uh, we want to add a new account. Okay, the account type is revenue and the code was 209. Okay. Um, and there's 15 cents GST on income on that. <clears throat> okay. Um, and so what that's done is that's set the new chart of account code up and we click on save transaction. Okay. And it's in here and we click on okay. All right. And, and that's it done. Um, next time we receive that money from um, MSD, um, it'll have the same um, pay and reference details so it'll probably just remember it over the right hand side here um, i've done a number of these sorts of recordings uh you know during lockdown and stuff to do with some of the covid wage subsidies and and loan the uh, small business cash flow loan from the iid um, so i'll put some links in in the bottom of the um recording so you can have a look at those ones as well on our blog site uh, on our uh, website, uh, there's also they're also pasted on our Facebook site. Um, probably the I'd suggest if you can um, like our Facebook site is probably the best way to do that. Um, you know, it's interesting. I've seen clients who are, haven't asked how to do this for the um, wage subsidies, and they've done it wrong when we're reconciling their stuff later in the year. Um, 
you know, so it's it's a good thing if you can actually like our Facebook site um, because the information we put up there is actually really useful and it will help you get things right. Um, all right, have a good day. Cheers.